All right, let's do this thing, everybody. Today we're talking about enums. Enums is short for enumerations. They're a special kind of class. They represent a fixed set of constants. By using enums, they improve code readability and are easy to maintain. One of the major benefits of enums is that they're more efficient with switches when comparing strings. So basically, an enum is a special kind of class where we declare constants. Here's a demonstration. We're going to create a new class. File, new, Java class. We're going to select enum. Enum is a special kind of class, sort of like how an interface is a special kind of class. We will create an enum of day. Public enum day. Within this Java class, we can declare some constants. What we're going to write is enum constants. A common convention for these constants is that all the letters are uppercase. So after the enum constant, we'll add a set of parentheses, then associate this constant with the value. So let's say that we're working with days of the week. Sunday will be the first day of the week. Sunday will have a value of one. Let's do this with the other days of the week. Monday, parentheses, then a value. Monday will be the second day of the week. Then we'll just follow this pattern. and all these constants with a semicolon. All right, we have our enum constants. They have values one through seven. We're receiving some warnings here. Expected zero arguments, but one found. What we need to do is create a constructor, a constructor for our day class. When we define these enum constants, we're automatically going to call the constructor for this enum class, and then pass in this value. Let's create a field of day number for days of the week. We'll make these values private. We'll use the private axis modifier. We don't want the ability to change them. We'll make them final. These are integers, that's the data type. We'll name these values day number. When we define these enum constants, we're automatically going to call the constructor and then pass in this value to the constructor. For the parameters, we'll have int, then our field of day number. This dot day number equals the day number that we receive. If you would like, you can add a getter method to actually get the day number. We'll use the public access modifier. We're returning an integer. We'll define a method of get day number. And we will return our field of this dot day number. All right, and we have set up our enum class. Reading and understanding these enum constants is a lot easier than these numbers. If I was looking at the number five, I would have trouble understanding that that means Thursday. Now, how do we work with these enum constants exactly? Here's how. Within our main Java file, we will create a day object by using this enum class. Let me delete this. Day, day. Rather than saying new day and then passing in a number like one, there's a different approach. We will access the day class dot and then specify a constant, a day of the week. Let's say Sunday. Remember that this is all caps. Our day is an object. Let's output our day and see what it outputs. This will output Sunday, all caps. If you would rather get the day number, the value that's associated with this enum constant, then we can use that getter method. Day dot get day number. So we have Sunday and one. Where this is really going to be helpful is when working with switches. Here's a demonstration. We will actually use an enhance switch. What are we examining? We're examining our day object. If our day matches a case of Monday, now this isn't a string. If this were a string, we would enclose this within a set of quotes. But using enums within a switch is actually faster than using strings. If it's Monday, then we'll output the following. We'll use an arrow because this is an enhanced switch. Then we'll output, it is a weekday. Then if we have a case of Tuesday, let me just copy this. 
Tuesday, will also output it as a weekday. You can actually combine these cases together too. You just have to comma separate them. So case Monday comma Tuesday, do this. Then let's do this with the other days of the week. Just for readability, I'll put these on new lines, each of these cases. So we have Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. These are all the weekdays, Monday through Friday. Then if we have K Saturday, then it's the weekend. K Saturday, we'll do the following. Output, it is the weekend. And we will also add a case for Sunday. So currently our day is Sunday. That will output, it is the weekend. If it were, let's say, Wednesday, then instead we output, it is a weekday. If we were comparing strings, all these cases would be enclosed within a set of double quotes, kind of like this. But we don't need to do that. It's actually more efficient to use enums. For some practice, what we'll do this time is accept some user input. We'll need a scanner. Scanner, scanner, equals new, scanner. Pass in system.in. Import this class. Be sure to close your scanner because I tend to forget. Scanner.close. Then we'll need a prompt. We will output the following. We'll use print rather than print line. Enter a day of the week. We will create a string variable. Let's say response equals use our scanner call the next line method. All these constants are uppercase. We'll method chain the to uppercase method to make our user input uppercase. When creating a day object, by using the enum class, we will use our response. We will use the value of method and then pass in our response. Now we should be able to type in a day. Enter a day of the week. I will type Monday. It is a weekday. Let's run this again. I will type Sunday. It is the weekend. What if we type in a day that doesn't exist, like pizza day? Well, we get an exception, an illegal argument exception. We can catch that exception using a try and catch block. Any dangerous code we're going to enclose within a try block. We will try this dangerous code. And catch any exceptions. We will catch that illegal argument exception, which we will name E. If the user input doesn't match one of these enums, then we'll output the following. Please enter a valid day. Let's try it again. Enter a day of the week. Let's try Tuesday. It is a weekday. Saturday. It is the weekend. Pizza day. Please enter a valid day. Pizza day is not one of our enums, but if we wanted to change it so it was, we can add that. Pizza day will be the eighth day of the week. At least it should be. We'll need a case for pizza day. Pizza day will also be part of the weekend. That just makes sense to me. All right, let's try that again. Enter a day of the week. Pizza day. It is the weekend. All right. All right, everybody. So those are enums, meaning enumerations. They're a special kind of class, kind of like how interfaces are a special kind of class. They represent a fixed set of constants. They improve code readability and reliability. And where they're really useful is when working with switches. Because when working with switches, using enums is faster than strings. If I wasn't using enum constants, I could use integers, which are also efficient. But as a programmer, this is way less readable for me. At first glance, I would have no idea what these numbers are. But if they're enum constants, 
This is perfectly readable to me. These are days of the week. That makes sense. And well, everybody, those are enums in Java.